Welcome to AFC RD TV. I'm here at Barwell. First league game of the season for the Diamonds and a great start. 2 0 win. I'm here with captain and man of the match chosen by John Dunham. Uh, Liam Dolman. Liam, great start and uh, tough conditions as well. Great start, very tough conditions, especially second half. We said before the game, go with the win, it might die down. It got worse. So them, them tactics were straight up. The window, but as I just said to John, our first half performance, it, it wasn't great, but it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It was just, we could have done a lot better with the win, perhaps got a few more shots off, got a set of pieces that didn't, didn't test them. But I thought the second half was the perfect way performance. Up the hill against the wind, with them throwing bodies forward from the very first minute of the second half. They went three up top and we were just trying to get the ball forward. But we defended, we adjusted our shape slightly. We brought uh, Sam and Nat back slightly, not not as a back five, but just uh, on the cover slightly as they had three against our three. But yeah, I thought that, that if you ask for an away performance from a team going up the hill against the wind, that is the perfect one. Let's go back to the first half. A couple of uh, decisions. Uh, the handball, I don't know. I thought the players saw it, was definitely a handball. He definitely hit his hand. The ref admitted that, but he said the, uh, his arms were tucked away. So if the ref's honest, you just have to get on with it, don't you? But the ref was in a good spot. That's, that's all I can say. I'm not going to tell the ref was wrong. He had the perfect, he had a better view than me. So. And then that chance near half time. Obviously, I didn't see what happened when the keeper collided with, uh, with Jack, but uh, the ball didn't go in. The defender said he gave the free kick back. Yeah, he yeah. said it was a goal scoring opportunity. I'm not quite sure how that is. But again, he's, he's given his decision. That's, we have to react off that. But we have to break out. But hey, no, he didn't give it. So, last season, I'm not sure we scored as many goals from set pieces as we did in previous seasons. Um, I think that was something you, I heard you talking to John, you worked on, and uh, the ball under your feet and in the wind. I saw you taking your time and the volley. Yeah, just had, just had to control it. All I thought was get it on target, and that's all I did. Hit it low, and it, it's gone in. But we as defenders, we know last year, I'm not sure how many we scored, but it couldn't have, I don't many. think it was five. And we said, it's a big part of the game because at this level, set pieces win and lose games, and today it's won us it, so long may that continue. And uh, no surprise, Jack there in the corner, he always seems to pop up at the back post or the near post, and a great glance ahead of him, so just to inside the post. Yeah, I think people underestimate how good he is in the to his sides, but we know he's a threat from set pieces, and today that proved it. What a header, by the way. To go, the ball coming out and him going away from goal to head it back. And as captain, um, we wanted some youth players, bring the age gap down. I think uh, we've got uh, obviously Sonny in midfield, and uh, I, I know that's probably in his mid 20s, but it's great to see these young players coming through and giving their opportunity, and Ben Akai as well. Yeah, we've all got fantastic ability. It's up to us, as you say, older people in the team to to encourage them to do what they're good at and not, not get on their backs. I thought today they were all brilliant. Um, Nat up and down that right wing, he was energy was unbelievable and then once Ben Akwai got to grips with the game second half he was brilliant and suddenly broke the play up brilliantly and we all know what he can do he's a great pass for the ball but perhaps today weren't the conditions for him to get on the ball but what he did off the ball was brilliant and final question two home games it's a great start now we need to build on that back at Hayden Road on Tuesday night I've just said this win means nothing if we don't back it up on Tuesday but we know we don't get an easy game in this league so you know Lacey will be a tough test and we've just got to go and say, to show the same attitude as we did the second half today First and foremost, work hard, and then our quality will, will take care of itself. And we know that if we work hard, we're a match for anyone. And you and Jack, top of the goal scoring list. Yeah, I know. Take care, mate. We've uh, get Shanky on the um, on the banter with that, but yeah, hopefully they'll, they'll pop up with their fair share. Won't they? We can't keep clean sheets and score all the time, can we? Cheers, mate. <laughs> all right, thanks, Liam and John. And uh, now we're on AFC RD TV, the manager, Andy Peaks. And again, uh, that final score line was Barwell nil, AFC Russian Diamonds 2. And uh, Peaksy, great, perfect way to start the season. Yeah, delighted, Bruce, to be honest. Um, so a few changes within the squad and the coaching staff, etc. So a little bit of a transition period, I felt, with some new players coming in, but to come here, uh, which is always a tough place to come. The conditions made it even tougher today. So to come away with a 2-0, absolutely delighted. Well, it's good professional performance by Diamonds and adverse weather conditions, like you just mentioned. Very windy today. Yeah, you wouldn't expect conditions like this today. It's usually very hot and humid, etc. So to have a wind like that was yeah, it certainly made it a game of two halves, it was a cliche, uh, but I thought we adapted well to it both ways. KG affair in the first half, and it comes out nil-nil at halftime, yeah. so what did you tell the players at, at halftime? Nah, there, was, there was loads of good things first half, and things we could improve on as well, uh, and they took that on the second half. Uh, sometimes it was difficult to bear with loads of pressure, and what I did think we 
worked really hard and I thought we were held our own. You know, we were away from home, so I took that half time. I felt second half we did come on to us a little bit with a win. Um, but I thought we withstood it really well and looked quite dangerous ourselves. And then the captain, uh, Liam Dolman, Bully comes through with a goal in the 58th minute. Bully slammed it home. Yeah, I just, I just said to someone else, we did some, from my criticism last year was we didn't score enough set-piece goals. We've got two today, and that's something we're working on week in, week out. Yeah, if we get good delivery, we've got a lot of good headers in the ball and finishes. So to get two in the first game was just what we wanted. Um, and, and like I said, any, any level of football can be decided by set-pieces. So to get two today proved exactly that. Yeah, and that second goal definitely gave us a cushion there by Jack Ashton in the 74th minute. Yeah, again, a great ball in from Deck and a brilliant header from Jack. Jack's more than capable of that. I say we've got plenty of good players who can score goals from set pieces, and we need to do more of that. So finally, indeed, the preseason is behind us. I know it's important to play those friendlies to get uh, the uh, chemistry of the team together, but we still got the core four, as I like to call them: uh, Sam Brown, Liam Dolman, Tom Lorraine, and of course uh, Jack Ashton. Yeah. But a nice blend, though, with some young faces too. Yeah, I thought, uh, we, I thought we brought some some in today. Matty Slynn, we got Nat. Uh, Gosnell Tyler. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Obviously, you've got Ben Akoy who got involved a bit last year. And these are, these are young lads, and I've said this all along. They can be frustrating at times. They do some good things and some bad things, but they're, they're learning the game. Uh, this is the way the club's going. I'm happy to work with them, and I think all three proved their worth today. Uh, Matt Slynn did take a bit of a hard knock there in the in the match, uh, second half. How was it? Hopefully, it'll be okay. He took a knock on his shoulder. He wasn't getting a lot of protection, I didn't think, in there. And he'd done on the yellow card, so it was a no brainer to get him off. He'd done a, his first transition into proper men's football, um, competitive. Sure. Um, so he'll get better and better. And now we have a couple of home matches. Very nice, the home season opener. A quick turnaround Tuesday evening against uh, Leiston. Yeah, fight another vital game for us because it's all about building. Um, like I say, we've had two games, we've had one good game today and one, it's the second one, so yeah, we don't want to waste all the good work we've done today. Well, the old cliche, uh, the season's not a sprint, it's a marathon, but we're off to a good start. Yeah, it's like it's a long season, but it's made it a decent day today. Well, thanks, Andy, for your time. Cheers. Cheers, Bruce. I don't need love.